What if you had a front row seat to all that's magical wow. in the wow. world? Wow. That'll really freak people out. <laughs> or, or that. Or, or that, or that, or, or this. Uh, seeing these 3D videos makes me just very impressed. Very impressed. Hello, LeBron. They made these super, super tiny compared to the there's no positional tracking, so it gets me a little weird, but his eyeballs are awesome. I'm sorry if that was a bit intrusive, a bit weird, but you know. Getting it on with my Gear VR. The first time, I'm actually going to have a chance to make a Gear VR video, because... I have found something that actually allows me to record within the gear. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little introduction to the gear, and uh, introduction to virtual reality is what they're called. It's created by Oculus, I believe, and uh, it looks really, really sweet. And uh, it just kind of is a slew of previous different things that were already out there and available. Um, so I do want to show that off and uh, show the people what is available with it. Of course, we're going to be using a Samsung phone. And uh, I've got here just one of the notes. One problem is that it likes to overheat quite a bit. So now I'll put the development phone into the device, right? Right? Getting it in there. Make sure it fits snugly and securely. Headphones. And the very necessary protection cover. Okay, and I know I haven't had that much content coming out lately, but I do at least want to let you guys know I should be having quite a bit of reviews coming out the next couple weeks. Uh, of course, maybe even this next weekend especially. Um, I'm going to be do, doing some things with uh, Elite Dangerous, of course, uh, the Transducer Chair, and the Core FX Vest, as well as I'm going to be playing Kronos. I mean, come on, Kronos just looks awesome, so I'm really excited to get into that one. Also, there's a game called Rooms, um, a little, little puzzle game. Looks really, really sweet. I'll be playing Lucky's Tale. Uh, I've also got Vectron Revenge is one of those ones I want to play, as well as the Grand Canyon experience. Yep, got to redo that one since they've updated it. Audio Arena, Darknet, and Dread Halls. I mean, there's just so many. There's there's a lot of games that have thrown out there for launch, and, and I'm going to just jump to as many of them as I can here in the next couple weeks. But um, for the time being, we're going to jump into this app and just check out what they have available to show first comers or newbies to VR. And the fact that it's in a VR mobile headset means that I can walk around and show anybody this. And I quite regularly do. So if you do want to check out, uh, I'm going to plug it here. I'm going to plug it shamelessly. Reality Check VR Instagram, right? Um, you'll see a lot of the things I do in the day-to-day -day, uh, work life as well as uh, um, with the Gear VR as well as uh, virtual reality. So check it out if you can. But for now, let's jump in and check this out. I'm going to touch that. Tap to play. Here we go. Here we go. Starting off in space above the earth. What if you could explore the world? That's awesome. Like never before. It's great looking. It really looks good. That'll just that'll wow people instantly what to see if that you one. Could travel to faraway lands in a heartbeat. Oh, hello. I am in a big, big canoe. It's a very large canoe. That's awesome. And you can actually just pause it at any time and look around your surroundings, which is really, really interesting. Makes you feel like you're in control of time, like uh, Adam Sandler with Click Remote, right? <laughs> All right, and hello, kids. I can't believe they would sit on the water in these things. Are you kidding me? Like, they have to swim, obviously, to get there. Then they have to climb that ladder, which to me looks like it's made out of sticks and rope, but blue or something. Like, that's insane. Look. Good for them. Good for them for making it work. There's the beach over there. All right. <laughs> this must be the little what fishing huts, right? Fishing huts. Seat to all that's magical wow. In wow. Our world. That'll really freak people out. <laughs> or, or that. Or, or that. Or that. Or, or this. Wow. Reminds me of Assassin's Creed. The creepiest Assassin's Creed characters. Oh, hello. <laughs> What if you could mystify your senses in ways you never um, thought possible? That's dangerous. He's creeping up on me. They're flanking me. The 3D video is really good in here. A lot of 3D videos I've seen in the past were very grainy, very what blurry, but this is extremely clear. Up close. And uh, seeing these 3D videos makes me just very impressed. Very impressed. Hello, LeBron. They made these super, super tiny compared to what LeBron normally is. <laughs> what it came at me a little faster, all right? Just back up, back up off. Come true. All right, now see the dinosaur isn't so bad now after he came running at me. 
Alright, so. There's no positional tracking, so it gets me a little weird, but his eyeballs are awesome. That's that what scene will really freak people out. Dinosaurs are great. To share stories and preserve memories. Not every memory, obviously, is going to want to be preserved in 360 stereoscopic view, but ones like this of kids, you know, especially reciting what poetry or singing songs. Come on, that's beautiful. This moment's beautiful. What if people of the future will be seeing that stuff? Wow, I hope you can see the texture quality of, of that. It looks beautiful, and with the resolution here, it's higher resolution than it is in the DK2. So I'm, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm assuming near CV1 quality. <laughs> that's to that's amazing. Reality. It's way better looking than anything on the DK2 looks like in space. I can tell you that much. All right, Oculus Studios. It's beautiful. Felix and Paul Studios. I do believe that that is the end of it, so... Oh, wait, yep, tap to play again. Alright. Yep, that is the end of the experience, so... Um, I'm glad that you could at least, uh, hopefully... Hopefully that recorded in there. I'll be really upset to find out that that did not record, because then you'll never see this, like most of the recordings that don't record. Check it out next time. I will have a lot of more reviews. A lot of more. Lots more reviews and uh, Gear VR content coming it out on... Uh, can't talk right now. I'm just too excited. I'm too excited. Um, and more of the getting it on with my Gear VR. Okay, so until next time. Bye, guys.